Before the competition, we will take three models of sporting harpoon guns and test them on a five liter plastic bottle filled with ballistic gelatin. With the help of high-speed photography, we will compare not only their slaughter qualities, but also analyze the flight of the harpoon and the behavior of the gun itself at the moment of the shot. We will review a historical model and two modern ones, a pneumatic gun and a spear gun. At a distance of several meters to the target, there is a special handle attached to the suction cup at the bottom of the pool, which a shooter grasps before the shot to stabilize his or her position. When shooting from a classic sporting model, we can see that the weapon does not experience any oscillations or vibrations. There is practically no recoil. Therefore, the barrel does not change its direction. The harpoon flies out very smoothly and flushes through the ballistic gelatin without changing its trajectory. I brought my champion gun, which once helped me to become the champion of Russia. Moreover, I had the best results in the world, which haven't been beaten yet. So its indicators of fire stability are probably the highest among all presented here. Even with a small, relatively small working pressure, there are 12 to 13 atmospheres there. It breaks through the ballistic gelatin and the harpoon keeps a stable flight throughout its working trajectory. The harpoon is 0.3 inch in length, heavy and long. Now, a spear gun shot. We see that the recoil falls in the palm of the shooter exactly along the axis of the shot. Respectively, the weapon does not shake and the hit is accurate. Now, a pneumatic gun. When fired, the barrel throws up a bit, and for that reason, the harpoon's trajectory changes slightly. This is noticeable by the trail of bubbles. When shooting at a short distance, such deviations are insignificant, and the harpoon hits the target exactly and comes through it. The modern underwater sport is shooting at targets from a certain distance and from a stationary position. Now, we will complicate the task a little. We will replace the massive bottle with a small air balloon. Both Pavel and I hit the target from the usual position on our first try. But a good shooter should be able to shoot from very different positions underwater. Shooting from stable positions is the first stage of preparing an underwater hunter and shooter. Well, the next step is shooting from moving positions. Because in real life, Shooting from a classic stand with an outstretched arm is just 25 to 30 percent of the hunt. All the rest happens either in motion or in unusual positions in the water. Now, we are going to try shooting with a turn. Pavel does it easily. Oh. 
I also hit the target on my first try. It just didn't happen to be so beautiful. It was extremely uncomfortable to shoot. At one point, I got disoriented for a few seconds. The question of how water and hydrostatic pressure influence the human body is not fully studied. However, it is already clear that it affects the vestibular apparatus and the person begins to lose orientation in space. As a result, he can fall behind, lose an understanding of where the horizon is, become disoriented the same way one might on land. Now we are going to shoot hanging upside down in the water. Pavel shot from this position with no difficulties once again. But I had some problems. The first time, I took a fairly stable position, but I missed. The second time, I started to fall to the side, so the shot once again wasn't accurate. Both times, while diving, I couldn't grasp the handle with my free hand, and only on the third try did I get into the correct position, caught the handle, and made an accurate shot. All this turned out to be very difficult, but such training is common for underwater shooters. At the same time, the use of scuba is forbidden, both in underwater hunting and in sport. So it is necessary to constantly train the lungs in order to hold one's breath for a long time. Since we are diving to hold our breath, of course, we have a limited supply of oxygen in the blood, which we can use to turn into the energy of our movement. This oxygen and accordingly our energy resources are spent unevenly. All these reserves, resources, and our ability to use them correctly, or so to speak wisely, can be trained. This is the same as training the biceps, the neck, the abdominals, and so on. Moreover, there are techniques by which you develop your ability to hold your breath underwater. We continue to talk about our underwater target shooting. We have already reviewed both historical and modern models of underwater weapons and even tested them in the water. There are competitions ahead. For the first time on TV, an underwater target shooting competition, Man in Arms program presenter against the Pacific Cup winner. It was my first time. I felt that I couldn't find a stable position, couldn't find a standard position. We will shoot from both old and new types of underwater weapons according to both old and new rules, and we will find out what the fundamental differences are between them. All this and more right now on our unique program, Man in Arms.